Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, I have a category video for you guys, and it is made in Japan items. And I love finding like ornaments and like basically decorations are what I like to find. But there are lots of made in Japan bolos, and we're going to get started here. Uh, maybe. All right, here we go. The first item is vintage. This is another Japan item I like to find is vintage J made in Japan Barbies. For sure, this is a huge lot. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with made in Japan Barbie items, but some of the outfits can go for hundreds of dollars. Um, I have sold some for 50 to a hundred myself. And I don't really know too much about Barbie stuff. So definitely, definitely be on the lookout for anything Barbie that says made in Japan. I'm um, not sure. They have like, a lot of them are black tagged. And then the shoes on the bottom will say um, Japan. And as you can see here on the tush, well, that one says Taiwan. So does that one. Maybe the clothes are Japan. Okay, that one says Japan. And so does that one. So it looks like two of the Barbies are Japan. And from what I understand, the Made in Japan are more, uh, you can get more for the Made in Japan, but don't quote me on that. Definitely look them all up. Okay, so this lot sold for uh, $916 with 19 bids. The next item is another Made in Japan Barbie. This is a redhead Barbie. They have different names. I'm guessing this seller is kind of like me and does not know the name of the Barbie. But there are Barbie collectors who will see this and they will see redhead and then they will know, you know, which Barbie it is. This one sold for $421.99 and the buyer paid shipping. And let's go in and see what they started the auction at. They started the auction at $11.99. So I'm guessing this seller did not know what they had. And you can see here the, the winning bidder is probably a collector because they have pretty high feedback. 21 unique bidders. The next item is this vintage space dog friction motor um, made in Japan. So it looks like it's a tin toy. Super cute. It's got the original box. It sold for $380 with 17 bids plus shipping. The next item are these vintage Maskuni Bonsai Tools Kit made in Japan. So um, I, I'm not really sure. Like a bonsai is a tree, right? So maybe they're to trim and cut a tree. It's kind of interesting. They sold for $235 with 31 bids in the buyer paid shipping. The next item, G.I. Joe. So we know Barbie makes made in Japan. Apparently, G.I. Joe vintage items are also made in Japan. So be on the lookout because this outfit and weapons went for $225. Only one bid, but um, that's all you need. Pretty cool. The next item. All right, this is kind of interesting. It's bird with wick in its beak, made in Japan. So it's a table lighter. Huh. How funny is that? Has anyone ever seen anything like this? I think it's really cool. But it sold for $232 with 27 bids. The next item is this bobblehead San Francisco 49ers um, it's from 1968. It is vintage and it's a bobblehead guys. There you have it. And he sold for $178 and 50 cents, 26 bids and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item is this Hello Kitty telephone. Uh, this was an international sale. I normally don't pull those, but I know that Hello Kitty can do pretty well. And this is made in Japan. It's from 1976 and it sold for $182 with free shipping. The next item are these Nike Sport Women's Shoes. They are made in Japan 
And I could not figure out like what is in this shoe? It's bubble wrap. Yeah, so these are just vintage made in Japan Nikes. So if you see them, definitely be on the lookout. I'm gonna see, okay, here you go. Made in Japan, it just says it on, on the bottom. It's sold for $165.50 with five bids. The buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Ralph Lauren. Um, it's like a work jacket and it says made in Japan and they have it just laying on a dirt floor, which I'm guessing it probably would have maybe went for more if it wasn't laying on the ground. <laughs> Such an odd picture. Maybe they didn't know it was worth anything. I'm not really sure, but it sold for $128.50 and the buyer paid the shipping. Let's see what they started this at. And they started it at 99 cents. So maybe they were just clueless at, that it had any value. Um, 10 unique bidders, nobody with really high feedback. But if most of you guys know that Ralph Lauren is pretty collectible, especially the vintage stuff. So um, definitely be on the lookout. The next item is this spin a hoop wind up toy. How cute is that? Made in Japan. I think this is adorable. Sold for $111.50 with 11 bids and the buyer paid shipping. And it looks like maybe one of her arms is broken off. Um, let's see. Doesn't say. Toy works great. Maybe, am I looking at it wrong? Oh yeah, I didn't it look like her, her arm wasn't there? It's just, I guess the angle. I thought maybe it was broken. Nope, not broken. The next item is these vintage Snoopy porcelain ornaments made in Japan. These four ornaments, Snoopy, sold for $115.50 with 38 bids and the buyer paid shipping. Try and zoom in here to the bottom for you. So yeah, they're from uh, 1966. That is amazing. The next item is this made in Japan Danish wooden doll furniture. And it says Barbie size. And I just think this is so, so cute. Um, yeah, super cute. So it could go like in a doll house, like a Barbie house. But this sold for $112.50. And the buyer paid the shipping. And it had eight bids. The next item is this vintage 1980s Fitz and Floyd ceramic hippopotamus cookie jar. Made in Japan. And I first heard about Fitz and Floyd when I was watching um, the Katie and Vicky show. Vicky was talking about picking up Fitz and Floyd. And I was just like amazed at how much Fitz and Floyd goes for. So really, really cool. But um, this one went for $102.50 with 14 bids and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item is this 1930s Minnie Mouse figurine. It's Bisque. It's made in Japan. It's from the 1930s, you guys. It sold for $102.50 with five bids and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these Japanese vintage chisels. There's 10 of them here. Made in Japan, sold for $79.99 and the buyer paid shipping, which was a little pricey because these are heavy. I'm wondering if they couldn't have gotten them into like um, a flat rate box, but maybe they were too long. The next item are these vintage made in japan ceramic santa claus pitchers so they're like a mug type pitcher looking thing um yeah these went for 88 dollars and 51 cents with nine bids plus shipping i think if it would have been me i would have sold them separately possibly made a little more i don't know i guess i would have to look at comps to be certain but it seems like probably somebody wouldn't need four pitchers all right, the next item is this super cute vintage Kis Kitska, K-I-T-S-C-H, bunny bank. It's ceramic, it's an Easter bunny, and it's made in Japan, and it says Yukagko, Yukako, Yukagko, I don't know how to say it, U-C-A-G-C-O, I'm guessing maybe that's written on the bottom. Yeah, okay, so it's on a little sticker on the bottom. So this little guy went for $90 with 30 bids and the buyer paid shipping. Super, super cute. This is totally something I would pick up. The next item is these mercury glass Christmas ornaments. There's four of them. 
and you can see there looks like there's little uh, figures inset inside of them. Would that be the right word to use? Snowman. It looks like a church, an angel, and a reindeer. These went for $79.95 in the buyer paid shipping. All right, this one I definitely would have broken up into singles or smaller lots. Uh, so these are like felt uh, elves, elves, I should say, not elves, elves. Um, you got some knee huggers here. I thought I saw some knee huggers. Maybe I didn't. Mm. No, no knee huggers, but they're, yep, yep, there they are. There's the knee huggers. I thought I saw some. So the knee huggers are the ones right here that are hugging their knees. There's three of them. And I love picking up vintage Christmas items like this, but I have a tendency to put them in smaller lots. Um, $84 is what this went for. The buyer paid the shipping and it had 16 bids. Quite possibly a reseller bought that. Vintage carved wood owl with the moving eyes made in Japan. Super cool. Um, $71 is what this sold for and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item is the little knee hugger uh, pixie elves. So you can see here, these went for $130.65 and the buyer paid shipping. It had 48 bids. Now these are a little bit unique because they've got the glitter look to them like the metallic i don't know if it's really glitter but metallic-y look and uh they're a little bit harder to find than the typical red and green the next item is this vintage japan cardboard putts christmas village house and this one's in really nice condition it went for 123 dollars 50 plus shipping and the buyer paid the shipping with 15 bids and i actually have a bunch of these listed right now and you can see on the bottom, they say made in Japan. But they're really, really cool. I picked a bunch up at a thrift store. I had no idea they had any value. The next item is these little ceramic elves. I say if you can find elves that are vintage made in Japan, grab them all day long. Super, super cute. These sold for $52.25 with seven bids and the buyer paid shipping. And I have sold little elves like this. The next item, I love this. It's the vintage Easter spell out. Um, you will also see this listing in my Easter Bolo video. If you guys haven't checked that out, definitely go check it out. This sold for $149.99, 23 bids, and the buyer paid shipping. Again, all of these items in this video are made in Japan. All right, this is a vintage pub pumpkin head string holder with face. So it's great for Halloween. It had 15 bids and it sold for $60. Um, there it says it right there on the back, made in Japan. So definitely, definitely, definitely be on the lookout for made in Japan items. All right, guys, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. That helps bump me in the search results. Thanks for watching as always. And check out another Bolo video. Um, what do I say? Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.